what's up? I thought I'd just give you a quick video on the effects of dieting. Um, today I went to a bodybuilding meet and had a good conversation in the car. Four, four bodybuilders who we've all been on stage and we've all been through it and just talking about our own personal experiences and um, the effects of dieting and everything that comes with it. Uh, I mean I've been asked many a time like why did I put myself through it and to be honest uh, there's not a logical answer because why, why would you weigh your food every single day, why would you do the hours of cardio, why would you feel low in energy? Hard answer but until you've stepped on stage and basically those 12, 16, 20, however many weeks you've been dieting, they all come down to that uh, or a photo shoot. Basically, it's a culmination of hard work, so nothing worth getting um, comes easy. So basically, you've got to sacrifice, and the more you sacrifice within reason, then um, the more worthwhile and um, the more rewards you'll get. But I just want to just explain um, the effects and what happens to you when you diet, um, and just that if you feel down or if you feel like binging, then you're normal. Right, so don't beat yourself up. Um, the crazy thing is, though, it's self-inflicted. But your body does crazy things when you start restricting calories, and the longer you do it, the crazier it gets. So the first part is that when you start reducing calories, yes, your body will use fat for energy, in theory, um, if you get your macronutrients right. But after a period of time, it's going to start breaking down maybe muscle but it's going to start slowing down your metabolism so theoretically a calculation is going to tell you how many calories you need per day to lose fat but that will steadily get reduced because your body becomes more efficient and it starts shutting down some metabolic processes that need calories to work um, one of the main ones in males is testosterone production so males I mean if you go on a strict diet it's almost like women don't exist. We were talking about this in the car today. Crazy. Um, the hottest woman in the world can walk by you, but you just, you don't know, you don't even see her. And you start thinking that you're crazy because you know that you should be looking at her, but it's not happening. And that's just one of the effects of dieting. Um, another one is the constant food obsession. You put so much emphasis on food and we all say abs is made in the kitchen. So really food plays an important part but putting that priority on the food really you end up with almost a food obsession. And this continues after uh, you stop your diet and binging usually occurs because you've been restricting yourself for so long depending on how you've dieted that all you want to do is eat pizza and whatever else you've not been eating, chocolate, whether it be chocolate bars or whatever. I mean, that's like, it's normal. It's normal. I'm still doing it. Um, and I read somewhere that you it's going to take you the same amount of time that you were dieting after a show to recover. So if you do a six month diet, if you've been competing, um, going back to maintenance level calories for a month, it won't really sort you out. Before you mentally and physically get back to normal, eh, whatever that is, um, you can be anything up to six months, which is crazy, but it's uh, it's true because I dieted almost a whole year last year, up and down, and I'm still feeling uh, hormonally not right, but I'm going in the right direction. Um, so yeah, the binging will last possibly for months. Um, if you don't have a goal after a competition or an exit plan, then it can be dangerous because all you're going to do is eat and eat and eat because you don't have to be shredded for anything and you've lost all your hard work. But I just wanted to let you know that if you've been dieting and you've been in a calorie deficit for a long while, then don't worry, um, you're normal. <laughs> uh, these things happen. It's self-inflicted, so at the end of the day, you can't expect any sympathy, but it happens. The best thing I can advise is get that balance. So um, if you're dieting, then see friends, go out for a cup of coffee, 
disconnect from the bodybuilding or fitness world without forgetting your goals. Don't put your hard work to waste, just um, surround yourself with people that support you, but have that break. Spend some time with your friends, your family, all that helps in the mental battle that is uh, fitness and um, getting the ideal body composition. So I wanted this to be a quick video, but uh, I, I don't know how long it's been, five, six minutes. Uh, if you want, ask me some more questions about this, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, also, check out, Google the Minnesota Starvation Experiment. Um, you'll find an article on Wikipedia, and it basically just explains in a little bit more detail um, what I've told you in this video. If you've got a spare 10, 15 minutes, then give that a quick read. Um, and you, if you've been dieting for any longer than three months, you will probably be able to relate to most of the things in that article. It's really, really good. So guys, that was it. Um, rate, comment, share, subscribe. Fabio Bonanno, 100% um, natural athlete. Uh, that's all. Thanks, guys.